Hi guys, Yuri here again. Today we're gonna open these Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon EX boxes. Uh, I'm really excited uh, for this because it's from Paradox Rift and we have this these awesome jumbo cards. I was able to buy these for like a very good price. Like I think the Iron Valiant was like 15 to 16 euros and the Roaring Moon was like 17 to 18 uh, euros, um, which is like, I, I, there was a lot of places where they were going for like 25, I think, or even more than that. So I'm going to start with the Iron Valiant because I just prefer the Roaring Moon. I'm going to keep that one as last. Uh, but let's open this first. So we have, let's see what we have in here. We have three promo cards. Uh, one like super big card, like the, the, the jumbo card. And then we have four booster packs uh, and I'm not sure if it's all from Paradox Rift. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Let's see here. Oh, that was easy to open. All right, we got that one. Let's put this box to the side. I'm gonna flatten this so it doesn't take up too much space. I definitely opened it from the right side because this side is harder to open. All right, that's better. Then let's open the Roaring Moon EX box. Um, I have second. I have two of these, of course, like most of my products that I open. I make sure I have two, so I can keep one of them sealed. Definitely, if it's a really good price on them all right so we got both of them they both look beautiful they have this star kind of pattern on the holographic uh like uh the holographic part on the on the cards like these stars shapes uh, which is this, it gives me this radiant collection kind of vibe uh, let's say okay let's first open this one the iron valiant let's see all right let's see Let's put them right here for a moment and then let's take a look at them. There we go. So we first have the code card right here. Oh, it's upside down like this. You have the three promo cards. Let's first take a look at them from the front. We have the Iron Moth. And like this card is of course in the set, but not the holographic part of it, uh, or not the cause, not like this pattern. There is a holographic, but not this pattern. Really cool, really cool. Then we have the future booster energy capsule. Same thing here with the pattern. And then we have the Iron Valiant EX, which is actually a promo card. Uh, the other two are part of the set, uh, but not as they are represented right here with the hollow pattern that it's like this cosmic kind of pattern. Uh, let's look at them from the back right away. Uh, they're all three look pretty good from the front. Although the booster energy capsule does seem a bit top heavy and a bit to the right side. The other two seem pretty much spot on center wise from the front. Um, let's look from the back. This one looks pretty good from the back. Yeah, looks good, looks good. And we have the future booster energy capsule from the back here. Uh, also, I don't know, it seems pretty good actually. Maybe a little bit to the left side here. A little bit top heavy, I don't know. But very subtle. Uh, and then we have the Iron Valiant card. Looks pretty much spot on. All right, let's, let's leave these up right away. All right, so the Iron Valiant is, of course, the future uh, version of Gallade. 
or Gallade, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Iron Moth. Okay. And then we have the Jumbo card in here. Ooh, what a beautiful card this is. Really beautiful pattern too. Ah, oh, looks so cool. Man, it looks center-wise pretty good. Let's look to the back. Yeah, a little bit, little bit of whiting, white on the side here. But very subtle, a little bit of on the top too, but it's, it's very subtle. I think it's more like on the side of the card than on this back side of the card. But center-wise, it looks pretty much perfect. Yeah, it's just a little bit white on the edges of the card. All right, but that deserves, of course, a spot in the jumbo card. Um, what am I going to call it? The binder. Let's grab the binder with us. Let's put it inside of it. All right. Let's see here. We're stacking up on these jumbo cards uh, lately. All right. Cleaver. All right, and there we go. The Iron Valiant EX goes into this slot. If we can open it at least. Oh, there we go. It was stuck. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's keep the binder with us because we're going to need it for the other box here. Let's open that one and let's take a look at the promo cards that are in the Roaring Moon box. Right. I've said it before, but it's such a smart move to have like the plastic holding the cards instead of like pushing it into the plastic itself because you have less chance to damage the cards that way. Smart move, Pokemon. Smart move. Let's grab the cards. I'm going to put them right over there for a moment. So we can first grab the code card for you guys. So, that's the code card for you. There we go. And then we have the three promo cards. Upside down. The Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, very fitting of course then oh this one is upside <laughs> then the brute bonnet the what is it like the the amungus variant ancient variant it's very cool actually because i didn't notice it before but the right side has this hollow pattern already that yeah it goes over to this hollow pattern on the sides was that the case with the future ones? Let me grab one of the cards here. It kind of is, but it's more subtle. It's, it's like this. Let's see if it focuses. It's like this pattern on it. It's kind of hollow, but it's, it's... Yeah, it is kind of hollow, but it's not as apparent as the ancient versions here. It's really clear with this. Really nice. So the brute bonnet, bonnet, and then of course the roaring moon. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful card. This one looks pretty much perfect from the from the front, I'd say. And then the brute bonnet is a bit on the right side. Uh, there, off center. Vertically, pretty much on point, and then the capsule, energy capsule. I'd say a little bit top heavy maybe, but pretty good. Let's look from, from the back here. Looks pretty much spot on. Brute bonnet. Let's see. Pretty good too. 
and the Roaring Moon EX. This kind of look per looks perfect, actually. Pretty much perfect. Wow. Good quality on the cars here. I'd say. Cool. Now let's take a look at the jumbo card in a minute. Like a big part of the time that takes opening these are of course the promo cards because there's technically four promo cards in this, including the jumbo card. So let's grab the jumbo card right away and let's take a look at it. Awesome. Awesome. Also pretty much perfect when it comes to the centering of it. Uh, a little bit of white, but it's also like more on the side of the card than actually on the back. It's like it's just when you feel over it, it's like not really fully even. You feel like the, it's like when you have this, uh, you know, the, the, the booster boxes, when you have like the flap, going up you have to push it through the through the through the cardboard let's say when you feel over it there's like where the attachment of the card used to be it's 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 that kind of feeling on the sides here if it, if that makes sense but okay let's sleeve this one up in the jumbo booster uh binder man before you know it we'll have no room left in this one Luckily, I have uh, like loose jumbo sleeves as well. All right. There we go. So let's put this one away. Don't need that anymore because, because it is time for the booster packs. And we have two. Wait, that's kind of ironic. We have two uh, Roaring Moon uh, arts on the Iron Valiant. <laughs> oh, we have Paldea Evolved too. Oh, and Obsidian Flames. Oh, wow. I didn't expect this. For some reason, I thought it was going to be only Paradox Rift, but I was wrong, clearly. All right. I guess the same on this side. We have the Iron Valiant in the Roaring Moon one, so that's kind of funny, actually, I think. Uh, and then also Paldea Evolved and the uh, Obsidian Flames with Charizard Art. Come on. All right. There we go. So we have eight packs in total. We're going to start with the Iron Valiant one. Okay, let's... Oh, 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 oh. How much luck will we get in this? We got so lucky with Paldea Evolved in the three-pack blister opening. All right. It's a good... I'm, I was about to say it's a good code card, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, I think it's one from the back again. So, we have... Uh, Oh, wait, before I do that, I still have these promo car cards right here. Let me, let me put them right here so I have some place to put the other cards on. Okay, so we have a basic Steel Energy, Atropius, Great Ball, Hoppit, Makuhita, Gothitel, Arctabax, Giacomo, Reverse Hollow Cufant, Reverse Hollow Toxic Rogue, and a Hollow Slacking. All right, have this one already, a couple of times even. Uh, then we have Obsidian Flames. I'd, I'd like to um, keep the different sets separate. So I'm gonna put the Paldean, Ev Paldea Evolved one on the left here uh, so that I don't mix them up. It's just easier afterwards to organize everything. All right, let's see here. Code card, there we go. We have the Psychic Energy. Fo oh, no, no, don't put him here. 
Fungus, I was about to mix them up with the, para, um, with the Paldea Evolved. Pidgey, Litwick, Young Goose, if it focuses. Drampa, oh, I don't think I have this one yet. Uh, Sharpedo, Espeon, Reverse Hollow Weasel, Reverse Hollow Gumshoes, and a Hollow Claydol. I'll have multiple of these already. So, yeah. Not too crazy. All right, let's put these ones to the side as well. I'm gonna just try and organize it a bit better. All right. Well, before we move on, I will actually, I would actually like to open the Paldea Evolved and the Obsidian Flames from the other box. Let's do it that way. It's different than I'm usually doing, but then we have four packs of Paradox Rift after one another, which excites me a bit more. Oh, this is almost a miscut. Look at that. Like the upper border is like so small compared to the lower one. It's, it's not a, a huge miscut, but I have not actually pulled, I'm mean, just gonna leave it, you never know. Um, I have never pulled, I think, a, an extreme miscut card so far. So one from the back. Uh, we have Steel Energy, Gothita, Mass Chief, Wingull, Pineco, Corviknight, the Dunsparce. Jupiter, Reverse Hollow Vespaquin, Reverse Hollow Quaxley, and a Hollow Wigglytuff. We're not going as crazy as before. <laughs> that's definitely that's definitely not the case. So that's when it comes to when it comes to the Paldea Evolved today. Not too crazy. Obsidian Flames. Will we get something? I believe in Paradox Rifts more than, of course, the Obsidian Flames right now because we just have more packs, more options. And that's the thing, right? If you have these shards to dead, if you have these, um, let me just skip those. Um, if you have these uh, collection boxes, you have these promo cards. So at least you have those as value of, of, the, of the packs. Like if you, if you don't pull anything, you at least have the code cards, uh, the promo cards, which is something. Chandelure, letter of encouragement. Oh, I like this reverse hollow Magnazone. Reverse hollow Townsor and a hollow Entei. Oh, we got nothing so far actually, nothing so far. Let's hope we have something in uh, in one of these Paradox Rift booster packs because it's kind of uh, unexciting, let's say. Roaring Moon from the Iron Valiant box. By the way, guys, so I'm opening uh, these Paradox Rift uh, boxes, but... Uh, you might have seen that I have the, what is it, the Wild Force, and what's the other name? Uh, I don't know, but like the Japanese versions basically from the Temporal Forces set, uh, which already came out, and I got two of each, so I probably will open one of each too. But kind of excited for those two, because I just like opening Japanese cards, even though I have not opened a lot of them. <laughs> we have Water Energy, Blitzel, Panpour, Feebas, Apom, Durant, TM Turbo Energize, Work Trio, Reverse Hollow Purloin, Reverse Hollow Xian Pao, ooh, and Roaring Moon EX. Not bad at all. 
I don't have a Ro Roaring Moon EX from the set, actually, so cannot complain. Good one. And that in the Roaring in, in one of the Roaring Moon packs as well, so cool. All right, we're making progress so far. All right, let's see here. Leaf Energy, <laughs> another Blitzel. Bounce Sweet, Apom, Pansage, Ferrothorn. We have a Cursed Duster, Ore Beetle, Reverse Hollow, is it Reverse? Yeah, a Reverse Hollow Trubbish. Reverse Hollow Jirachi and a Hollow Galissapa, which I already have multiple of. Okay, so so far only one EX. It is a Roaring Moon, though, so probably the best regular EX you can get from this. But besides that, that that's the only pull so far. So. We've had, we've had better, definitely. We've had better. Okay, so now we're over to the Iron Valiant. Let's see if we can beat the Roaring Moon one. Oh, there's, I think there's something in the back. Could be just a hollow, of course, but basic energy, water energy, Panseer, Blibbug, Gligar. Imagine that we pull the Iron Valiant EX in the Roaring Moon uh, box right now. How fitting would that be? Nick it. Rika. Screamtail. Uh, Professor Sada's Vitality. We have a Reverse Hollow Honage. Reverse Hollow Low Kicks. And the Sandy Shocks EX, uh, which I do already have actually. So it's also a regular EX, but I'd say still the Roaring Moon EX is better. At as a pool, like not competitive. I don't know about competitive. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. The last pack for today. If there's nothing in it, I will have to decide that the Iron Valiant box uh, wins this. Also because like it, it cost less. It was even cheaper than the Roaring Moon one. Although they're both in discount, but. The only reason I think it's was more it was cheaper is because the Roaring Moon is more popular. I don't know. We have the basic lighting energy. Think a think. Charcedet. Flittle. Trebish. Cursed Duster. Or Beetle. What kind of is that a normal color? That seems so strange. It's not supposed to be this color, right? Is it? How is it this color? Guys, I will, sorry, I want, I want to know this. I will look this up. This card specifically, I want to look this up. So, uh, or beetle, which is it? 12 from 182. Yeah, let's look into images. Huh. Like it, it not it doesn't look the same at all. Wait. That is so strange. It does not have the same color, does it? It is so different. Guys, I I I have the feeling like I have pulled like a miscut, but like a misprint, a miscolored print. Huh. So weird. Like the the reverse hollow has a bit more of it, but it's still not the same thing. Guys, this is this is like. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Is this something, spe I will sleeve this definitely because this doesn't seem normal to me. Okay, let us continue with the other card. Wait, we have the same thing with the cloth here. I have a, damn, this is a miscolored print. 
How does that happen? I didn't even know that was a thing. How does that work? Reverse hollow purloin? That's the same as regular, right? Is it? Yeah, that's the same. Man, it's so weird. Reverse hollow espatra and a hollow steelix. All right, but that is weird. I will leave both of these because I've never seen that. Actually, that's pretty special to me. Those are probably the most special cars that I've pulled today. Not more probably more, more, the most valuable, but it's, oh my God. Have you guys ever seen something like this? Wow, it's like a pale colored version of, of, of both these cards. Like it's desaturated like a lot. <laughs> that is something totally different. What a twist here. Guys, I was just going through the cards. This is me afterwards. I was going through the cards that I pulled and I stumbled upon another mist colored, mist colored card, misprinted card. And that's the cursed duster. Look at this. They're different colors. And I looked it up like the, the left one is the normal one. But the right side is like misprinted, like miscolored, right? Man, that is so strange. But let me continue with the regular video. Man, guys, um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this, but okay. Like, the most valuable card that we got was definitely here, the Roaring Moon uh, EX. But these ones are the most special ones that I've pulled, <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, yeah, well, I guess I'll check it up. I'll check upon it and see if it's if that's actually a thing like miscolored prints, but Let me know what you think about it guys. Thank you so much for watching Don't forget to subscribe like and share the video Also, don't forget to check out some of my other openings on the channel. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me uh, I think the next opening I might do I think so and you guys are probably also going to be excited for it because I'm always excited when I can open from this set. And I think you can kind of guess it by now. It is Sword and Shield Crown Zenith. And it's the Reggie Draco and the Reggie Lecky uh, box. Let's put it like this because just my OCD. Uh, Reggie Lecky and the uh, Reggie Draco V uh, collection boxes. I will probably open these in the next one. So I hope you look forward to that. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and see you in the next one. Bye.